point with the whole Sonic thing. It's it bothered me because Mania yes. had glitches that were tons of soft locks and breaks. And everyone did this annoying. Me, it is what it is. Like, oh, no, it's like, oh, you know, they're... Nice. Yeah, I'll take that. Yeah. Because I keep actually using the potions. My point is... Your lives it, don't matter. I have save states, motherfuckers. It annoyed me because, I'm sorry, you should call out the Sonic Mania, especially at the time. I know they patched a lot of that, which is good. But... It's like, the fact that everyone was just willing to look past Sonic Mania literally being broken pisses me off. <laughs> because everyone's like, oh, Sonic Forces is like the worst Sonic game ever made. Sega has failed again. And then it's like, but doesn't Sonic Mania have a lot of random soft logs? Meh, it is what it is. They don't detract from the experience. Because then you have these mother... Oh, I'm the because then you have these mother fuckers doing the thing of, oh, we all know th what the soft locks are and that they only trigger if you do this. So if you never do that, there's no soft lock. So therefore, there is no argument. It's fine. You can avoid it. But you have to know about the soft lock. And not... And not everyone that plays a video game is going to be in the know to know to avoid fucking soft logs because this might shock people. And I know this is weird, but a lot of people that play video games play video games super fucking casually and are not subscribed to like the um, 50 different gaming YouTubers that sort of regurgitate the same information. Or so, a lot of people, even if someone is, they when they uh, are, like, looking forward to a game, they don't want any spoilers, so they actively will, like, avoid the internet the day the game comes out to basically play... A like, game blind without... To basically play Mania, on, like, at its midnight launch. But the, the problem is then you end up in a fucking... Soft log? And everyone just passed off the soft log like it wasn't that bad. And yet Sonic Forces was like the worst Sonic game ever made. And people fundamentally cannot... Yeah, boy. I don't think there's anything up here. No. If they did, that would be a real dick. I don't think Forces is that bad, and it just, it just fucking pisses me off that people will have to come up with the most asinine reasons for Forces, and even Sean at the time had this kind of weird opinion where it was like, Mania has a bunch of soft locks and stuff. This was before patches, and Sean at the time was like, yeah, but I was having fun with Mania. I'm just not having fun with Forces. Mania is just a better game. It's like, but you're so willing to attack Modern Sonic for being glitchy and broken, and yet you're going to say that Forces is bad without acknowledging Mania literally having multiple soft locks. And one of the most idiotic soft locks in Mania is Sonic and Tail is being grabbed in a weird way that locks the final boss. And because of the way that works, because the game doesn't save, and it doesn't let you have save states or anything, if you get that final boss soft lock, 
You have to go back. I have seen people literally defend that was when you choose to restart, it doesn't take a life. So as long as you have one life, you can choose to restart when that happens. Yeah. I have genuinely, unironically seen this as a defense for that. Because if you restart, you'll load at the checkpoint. But that's still fucking defending a soft lock that makes the final boss impossible to beat. Especially because it's also... <laughs> The other thing is, this is the final boss of the final stage. Some people might have gotten there on their last life. Well, uh, restarting doesn't take a life. You still need a life to do it. Meaning, if you get there with zero lives... Lives, you're fucked, yes. And I'm sorry, that final stage is hot fucking garbage. That is one of the worst, most idiotic levels I have ever played in a video game. And Assholes. even people... <laughs> And even people that like, um, Mania hate that level. This is a level that... <laughs> Come on. Yeah, bitch. I have seen so many casual people run out of time on that stupid level. I believe uh, that level, uh, because of that fact, it's one of those that is, you know, never, to my knowledge, been directly confirmed by one of the developers. But if I remember correctly, I think Mania Plus, one of the updates is you can just turn off the time. You could do that in the original game, but remember, that technically required the inputting the one code. I believe you can just do that in Mania Plus. I think. You and... <laughs> You know, controversial opinion here, even though it shouldn't be, that Sonic, like, um, that other Sonic collection that released that has 1, 2, and, like, 3 and CD on it, its default setting is the enhanced mode where you basically have no time and no lives. And a bunch of purest butthurt man babies of course. were like crying of like, why? Why would you do that? It's just so stupid. Because lives and the fucking time are archaic nonsense. And if Mania naturally had no lives and no time, I wouldn't have been that mad. And even in the initial Let's Play, while I would have died a couple of times. Oh, so if anyone uh, uh, says that, oh, because you have an invincibility potion, certain sections are designed for that, that's, you know, stupid because I might not have picked up an invincibility <laughs> potion. I should not need a fucking invincibility item to get through something unscathed. So that was kind of my Sonic Mania rant. It just, it just fucking pisses me off. Because, I'm sorry, Sonic Mania had glitches where the game would softlock. Which, again, I know they patched. This was at the time. At the time, especially when we recorded. The, the glitches and exploits and stuff were there. But, oh, Sonic Mania is like the best game ever. Oh, Sonic Forces is so bad, Sega has failed again. Only fans know how to make a good Sonic game. But it's like, look at all these softlocks. Meh, they don't deteriorate yeah. from a good game. Even though the funny thing, we're recording this really close to the Sonic Superstars coming out. I can't remember. Who was the developer of that? Was it Sonic Team? I or... think it was Sonic Team. And that's actually getting good scores. Apparently. <laughs> well, my, my point, because it was, you know, Genesis adjacent, it just... Fucking irks me. And then... That flower is out for blood. There we go. And then... Asshole. It didn't happen as much as I thought it would. But, um... I made a joke at the time that Sonic Mania... Would likely, within a couple of years, hit this idiotic thing 
where all these people that loved it would suddenly do the thing we were doing and say, in hindsight, it is kind of way too nostalgia heavy and doesn't have a lot of substance. And that wasn't as common as I expected. But a lot of people did kind of go looking back that it is kind of a nostalgia game. And we hit that wave that I expected we would hit where people started calling out anything that was nostalgia bait. So Mania did get a lot of hatred for five minutes. And I was See, like, if, uh, if Superstars does continue to get good reviews and isn't like, able to meet the internet's arbitrary, like a form of innovation or whatever that might actually pick up more now that we have superstars to contrast because i always said i feel like a mania would hit that wave when we get a mania 2 even if it's not called a mania 2 especially if it was a mania 2 where they were actually allowed to do original ideas which i will give that team a fair point because they admitted they wanted to do original ideas, but internally, Sega was kind of afraid and made them sort of recycle ideas because Sega internally knew recycling would be safer. And that unfortunately fucking worked. And I think, and I said this at the time, and I stand by this opinion, Mania really does not have that much substance. Ah, oh, yep. It is little you. But that's because it fucking runs away. What game do you have to catch your lives? Sumaira Sunshine? <laughs> Actually, a lot of Mario games, now that I think about it. Yeah, I guess technically the one-up mushroom has always done that. Sunshine's actually selective about it. Only a few one-ups act actively avoid the player. So, if we're going down that road, um, Mario, you actually have to catch your lives because the mushrooms are normally mobile. But that is something after a certain point they did stop doing. Selectively stop doing? Yeah. Because they did realize that was the big stupid? Yeah, so it is. Though Odyssey doesn't have lives in it anyway. Yes. And good fucking riddance. Because lives were and always will be a fundamentally outdated <laughs> concept that was there or to make it hard for people who are already bad at the game. It was just there to make people who are already struggling yeah. struggle more. And as good of a game as Odyssey is, I... And I stand by this. I don't care what anyone says. I don't like. Oh, and I, I didn't pick up the one item, did I? I don't think. Nope. Yep. Going back. I don't. Like, Odyssey is a good game. I enjoyed it, but, like, I don't care what anyone says odyssey's um <laughs> ultimate like <laughs> you know super optional post game challenge level is just fucking bullshit i'm sorry that is like an overcorrection of mario games aren't hard because there is no fucking reason that you need to have a 15 minute fucking level that does not have a single goddamn checkpoint in it. Oh, except uh, you see it doesn't actually need a checkpoint because they didn't like, they didn't give you baby checkpoints. No, they gave you a man's checkpoint uh, where the uh, checkpoints are the player being skilled at the game and knowing how to skip certain sections. That is again literally the argument I heard yeah. is that like, the checkpoint is the fact that you can do that glide on thing to skip like half the stage. Okay, if you make it halfway and you do that glide on glitch, you can land at the Bowser 
poor trip, but you still have to make it to the glide on, and that still requires a good chunk of level. And getting creative with that one moving platform section, they actually hit power ups if you <laughs> avoid the platform section by riding the Cappy platform out. <laughs> and I think that's pretty cool. But if we're going to make that argument, and I would actually kind of defend the level, if we're doing that argument, then I think every section should have had a creative skip that's um, either required a little bit of skill with understanding how the game works or just um, getting a little bit cheeky. Like I swear if it's in one of... Okay, good. Like the Kathy thing. <laughs> if you could basically, if you could honestly skip like every section, even if it was difficult, I would go, okay, they did build a skill like ceiling where a more skilled player can trivialize the level by skipping it. And then you can actually practice your skips. But that's not what they fucking did. So then it's a, like, 15 minute fucking level where... The other thing that irritates me about... Yeah, oh, there, there it is. Yeah. Yeah, you know, that's the one good thing is it's at least really noticeable because you have the jingle and it, you know, they tend yeah. to not look like any... Thing, thing in the game. Yeah. Anything out, so that's good at least. Though I also have, due to the way the stages are structured, if you notice, it's for the most part all like in a relatively straightforward location. It's always in a relatively straightforward location. You just need to. <laughs> again, again, I can't remember if the having to find the item in the third stage of Magical Hat did that as well, or that was added to uh, this or not. My whole point, 15 minutes without a goddamn yes. checkpoint, excessive and stupid. I love Odyssey, but wholeheartedly fuck that. Mm. And Odyssey- Because people found not just that one glide on skip, because people found sort of similar-ish skips at other areas, people are like, oh, if you use like all of these skips, that this really isn't that bad. And like I said, people genuinely use the argument that like it doesn't have a predetermined checkpoint, that the player creates their like own checkpoint with their own uh, like skill or something. And that's, you know, infinitely like more rewarding, which whenever you start using the infinitely more rewarding a wording, you're just an old man with Stockholm Syndrome. <laughs> Because whenever we talk about difficulty, I will always 100% say that, that you're just an old man with Stockholm Syndrome that is better that kids of today don't have to suffer like you do. Like, if you had a game like this as a child, and if it has limited continues, which again, I don't remember if it has, but I am not taking that fucking uh, a chance, uh, you're, I guarantee you, you probably made it to the end of the game very uh, frequently, but I hope you didn't have, like, enough lives or continues to beat the end of the game back to the start with you, so that's why you're, uh, so that's why you basically get hemorrhoids over the thing I just did of dropping a save state in the middle because you want children to suffer like you did. Because mm -hmm. that is the only reason you ever would... Uh, uh, that's the oh. only re reason you would ever want something like that again as a Stockholm incent... Holy shit, I have five of these fucking things. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. I'm just going to wait to use it. Because all the game's difficulty always came from them wasting your time. You can't. Oh, okay. You can only use one at a time. Yeah. 
Yeah, I have the health, I can tank through it. See, like he's almost dead. Yes. Well, you need to instead of using the power because you don't really have a lot of opportunities to hit him. You know, I can actually try the. The higher, like, jumping, the higher jumping one instead of the, the power because it's. Also, how the lightning orbs. Oh, yeah. Which literally said that they damage bosses. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah, that was I, because I don't know how much damage that did. Because of how the health rolls, it looks like after the orb, he is a darker color. So, yep, look. You're doing infinitely better when you hit him with the orb. Okay, so the orbs seem to just do a good health bar chunk. So I do think that was an orb well spent. Well, the other thing is because I'm actually keeping the head. The, yes. I was also actually uh, doing technically more damage because I would do a single hit with the head and then... Bathroom break. You, you keep playing. I'm gonna go pee. Okay. Oh. Found all five coins. It's time for the question of the day and my overall thoughts on the topic. So anyway, what side of the Sonic Mania argument? are you on? I just find it ridiculous that tons of people lampooned and attacked Sonic Forces over every little minute thing that Sonic Forces did, and yet everyone was willing to look past Sonic Mania having several easy to trigger soft locks that would require you to restart the level you were in because the game essentially became impossible to progress in and yet everyone thinks forces is a bad game and normally in this fan base if a Sonic game has any problem, no matter how small or inconsequential, people will effectively never let it go and will constantly lampoon that Sonic game over this supposed problem. And yet, everyone was willing to look past Sonic Mania having soft locks at the time and yes i know they patched those soft locks so now the game is way better than it was and i will give them credit for patching the game but what annoys me is how hypocritical people are where they are willing to overlook 
the fact that Mania had a few softlocks simply because they want to treat Mania as this magnum opus where everyone collectively agreed that these softlocks did not deteriorate from the experience and yet you are willing to attack other Sonic games over frivolous nonsense so what made Mania immune to scrutiny in my opinion it seems to be the nostalgia of Mania where that game basically had a nostalgia bubble surrounding it and essentially got a free pass from any major scrutiny even though I think attacking the game over the soft locks is valid but anyway you can leave your thoughts opinions and answers in the comments or you can leave them on social media all of my social media links as well as my discord links are in the video description now as always i need to be a shill for a minute if you subscribe to the channel and if you follow me on social media that really helps our communities grow but anyway i hope you all enjoyed the video and i hope i will see you all next time so as always good morning good afternoon good evening or good night everybody i hope you come back someday see you later